আৰু এতিয়া আমাৰ এহা মিনময় সারে পেপার প্রেজেন্ট করিব আৰু সারৰ টপিক আছে আসাম এন এমপ্লয়মেন্ট আই মিন ফর গ্রেড হয় এম প্রেজেন্ট সার্ভিং এজ গেস্ট ফ্যাকাল্টি এট এইচ ইউনিভার্সিটি এন্ড আই অলসো হ্যাড দ্য অপরচুনিটি টু সার্ভ দি গুড ইউনিভার্সিটি এন্ড ক্রস দি ডোজ থ্রি ওয়ার টু ইয়ার্স ওয়ার দ্য বেস্ট ইয়ার্স অফ মাই লাইফ এন্ড টু বিগিন উইথ আই ডোন্ট হ্যাভ দ্য বি মিটিং সো ওয়ান কোশ্চেন
around 70,000. So uh, against one post, there were 1,500 candidates. So that is when the employment process starts. That is underemployment because it's not that nobody is getting the job, but very less people. The same happened in case of J of APSC, where against one post, around 400 candidates applied. Uh, this was the result of the survey, uh, the online survey, that uh, the question was uh, if uh, people thought that unemployment is an issue of us, 100% yes, unemployment is an issue. But when it came to the question that what do you think would be the appropriate term, 9% said unemployment, 27% said underemployment, but unexpectedly, 64% said educated unemployment, which is the absence of employment even after you are qualified. Now, this, I had not thought of this term would come, but it can, maybe that's the beauty of research, but when I was particularly, particularly concerned with unemployment and underemployment, boom, educated unemployment came, and uh, when asked about if there will be a solution, 32% said, yes, there can be a solution, 54%, maybe 40% can't say, but there was another option which was no. Nobody said that there can't be a solution. Everybody is hopeful. And when asked about if entrepreneurship can be a solution, 18% agree, 80% uh, strongly agree, 64% agree, 9% disagree, and 9% can say. So a very small amount, 9% you know, they disagree. And when, when, it, when a greater percent of the respondents are saying that entrepreneurship can be a solution, but when asked if anybody was directly involved in entrepreneurship, 82% said no. Only 18% were directly involved, and when it comes to indirect involvement, it is 45% are not involved and 55% are involved, which more or less can be considered as 50-50. Well, even when we are talking about, we are not talking about entrepreneurship, but friends of entrepreneurs or maybe even media persons who deal with the promotional activities of entrepreneurs, 50, around, you know, around 50 percent of them do not know anybody who is involved in entrepreneurship. And maybe that implies that entrepreneurship is really less. It's less than what it should have been. Uh, when it uh, comes to entrepreneurship, that was the major finding. And when, when it comes to uh, the terms unemployment and, and underemployment, the major finding was that people are aware of the fact that unemployment and underemployment are very different terms, but they are prone to use unemployment often and underemployment in very rare scenarios. I, and I bet that you know, most of you have not used the term underemployment before or you use it very rarely. Now, coming to a few interviews, uh, I guess many of you have seen the movie Imagine a Mountain Man. Man, you are there, you had Brahmaputra fables as a sample, even I had the opportunity of interviewing them. So when I was interviewing the founder of Bombaputra Fables, Mr. Trubojati, he said that government ke bharosa mat bethlo. Kya pata? Government ke bharosa bethlo. And he said uh, he had a brilliant academic career. He uh, studied chemistry in Cotton College, did it, and he went to Pondicherry University for his masters. And then he came into the field of entrepreneurship. And he founded Bombaputra Fables, which is now exporting quality goods to all over the world. What he said is that we need to create our own opportunities. And he, but he also said that most of the times, you know, people come towards entrepreneurship for the glamour of it. Not to work wholeheartedly and create employment. They want to work for themselves, only for themselves, and you know, have a glamorous life. And that is why most of the times, uh, people who are not wholeheartedly into entrepreneurship, they just close their enterprise and then move on to some other jobs, which happens in the next interview, that is uh, immediate times. It was a new media enterprise, uh, really popular in its times, 
uh, and uh, uh, during that time, all the movies, uh, regional movies, had them as their uh, online media partners as well as uh, promoters of many other startups. Start so what happened is that the co-founder of Immediate Times, Mr. Kitty, he cleared the APSC. And once he cleared the APSC, he went there. And I can't blame him either because it was a good choice. It would give him more power, less uh, and everything he, he would have dreamt of. So if he is preparing for something, then of course he should go to it. But then again, the enterprise was shut down. So even for these reasons, many enterprises are shut down and entrepreneurship is going down in the state. I had the opportunity of interviewing a professor of Dibruga University. Uh, how it is linked to this is that when I was interviewing Mr. Kriti, he said that the government has many policies uh, to create employment and also to promote entrepreneurship, such as uh, the free rice which has been given uh, in the state, those would be done by the local farmers. But the issue is that when the policy is there, the people, the farmers are not aware of that. Many times farmers have to come back because of the reason that they do not know when they go to sell their rice, they have to undergo two tests. One is the humidity test and one is the mixture test. And since they do not know about it, most of the times 90% of the farmers have to come back because of that and uh, they are at a loss. And uh, finally they are done with farming and they opt for the free rice which comes from States like Uttar Pradesh and Haryana, and uh, entrepreneurship is down again. So uh, this is what I had in my presentation, and uh, the thing is that many things lead to underemployment, and again, underemployment also leads to many other things. Which, uh, uh, since this is a working paper, I will continue to work in that. But uh, I would like to share a very recent anecdote. broken glass of a bus. This is the bus I was traveling by to deliver for the seminar. So while I reached Jorhat at around 3 a.m., some people pelted stones and two of the glasses shattered. Another thing is, it can underemployment or let's say for an easier term, unemployment be the reason behind this. Because what I'm thinking is that if the guys, the people who threw the stones, if they had a job, would they be out at 3 a.m. in the morning and doing such activity? Because they'll be thinking about how to get ready for tomorrow, how to get ready for tomorrow's office. I need to sleep and wake up early. So, this, in many times it happens that these things come to us and what I'm planning to do is, I have talked uh, to a friend, some inspector of assemblies of mine, that I'll be going again for a snowball sampling and if these people are arrested, I'd like to take their interviews and if they know any other of the kind, then I'll try to find out the reasons behind. So, that was all from, from me. Thank you.